get Hyper did win. So let's see how this goes. He's been having a lot. Uh, someone's been. I think he's doing Cloud versus Hyper still, but I'm not sure. Do you know card? Card right there. See, they're going to FD. We're going FD. We're bringing out the swords. Are we going to see the Cloud or the Roy's? Yep, we're going to see the Cloud. Yeah, these two share some uh, play space. Definitely. Hyper, definitely well favored to win this. But let's see how this is going to go. So in this matchup, Claude has quite a bit of tools. But wait, what's going on? Probably a hand warmer or a button check. Okay. Or I, not. I guess he just wasn't ready. And he's dead. So that's one of the big things that happens in this matchup is Cloud has a lot of trouble getting back to stage. And Unless Roy's he's got that go limit, he is not coming back. Yeah, side B doesn't even really suspend him much anymore, does it? You um, can't even like, use that as like a mix-up or anything. You can still use it. Okay, I'll be good. Making him waste the uh, limit any way he can. Yeah, but one of the biggest things that's happened for Cloud is you can lead into side B so easily with so many different moves, and it's a lot of percentage. It's, it's a huge range now, and the uh, end lag on side B is so little, mm -hmm. especially nice limit cross slash. You do that, and then you're just going to side B again or something. Like, you can just... There's cross slash. Yeah, stuff. immediately afterward, just snaps the stage. And I saw the out shield in order to catch that approach. Oh, but he gets hit. Back air going to be sending uh, Salt One. Taking a off. solid early lead. Indeed. It's going to be really rough for Salt One to come back from this because of that early gimp. So he has to be super careful of probably forward throw out of everything the most. Up till does, up air does connect. One nair, two nairs. He's going to go deep. Right. He doesn't. Not afraid to follow him off the edge if it means getting a kill, especially when he has so many stocks to mess around with. And there's the back end. That's, That's going to be gotta, taken. Gotta be oh, he's got it. Yeah, he, he could have almost had that, maybe. Mm -hmm. But those early games is what really sets Roy and Cloud apart, is that Roy can somewhat survive those early games with his up special because of the, the disjoint on those flames. It makes it a little bit harder for, for Cloud to punish him, while for Roy, he just runs out, does a forwarder, and you're dead. It's a Some of, uh, besides like Nair, maybe like up air and stuff, Clouds... Aerials take a bit faster or a bit longer than uh, Roy's to come out. So, so we're taking us we're taking a character switch. I haven't seen uh, Salt One Snake yet. This looks sick. Mm -hmm. so, Staying aware, super aware. So historically, this matchup is kind of rough for Snake. At at low mid level, he's super good against Swords. He's got really good tools, but they don't seem to necessarily always come together perfectly. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, nice mix-ups right there with all the explosions, building up a lot of damage on that shield. But Snake has a lot of trouble getting down. Um, he has trouble with juggles. I can see that, yeah. Nice up tilt. Also, throwing the grenade down to put it perfectly on top of the uh, platforms. That's such an interesting use. It covers a lot of space, and the up special again to be getting the kill. Up the out of shield is such a potent tool in this game. It was good back and four, and like he got buffed. Roy, Roy only got better, so <laughs> we got to deal with it. This yeah. is what Roy was looking like when he came out. So this is the issue that Snake really struggles with: is getting that landing. Ooh, armor on good. that up B, so useful, especially for a character oh, like Snake. Oh, he's got a neutral special, but gets caught, gets hit by that backer. So Snake's recovery surprisingly safe with that up B. And with his down B reset, that's... Oh, oh. a beautiful forward air from Saul 1. Getting that a nice like spike. That takes a solid year to wind up. He, that he knew that heal. was coming. All right, we're going to be seeing that up air, but it does hit that grenade. He's going to build up the damage and get it. He's so still getting damage off from the grenades. One These. big thing that changed from Brawl for this mat for sortie matchups in general for Snake is the hit stun on Snake. It gives um, a lot of safety to the swords because they get stuck right there while Snake's in the air, and then it continues the swing, and then it hits the grenade. So it's not nearly okay. as safe as it used to be for Snake. That, and they can just generally space it anyways, too, since they're at the end of a sword. Mm -hmm. That's going to, yeah, that's going to be a huge deal. Like, it's very prob uh, problematic for If you're a Snake. brawler, like, forget it. Like, if you hit Snake, Bagger connects. he hits you because <laughs> he's got a grenade, and you mm -hmm. don't. 
Oh, it looks for that forward sp that side special, but not able to get it. Ooh, Nikita. Side B, ESAM's number one move in the game. Yeah, Nikita, forward air. Ooh. Yep, that'll get it. All right. Falling fair, what a move. It's a strong tool indeed. Really clean job there. But Saltwin's forward air running off stage with that was a beautiful option. Really well done. I don't know if he's going to be sticking Snake or not. So let's see. He may go to that Roy. And it looks like he's going to stick on Snake. Sticking Snake. What a move. Let's hope he gets a box kill. It, uh, I don't expect that <laughs> I don't at expect all. it either, but <laughs> we can hope. Nice beat reverse right there to lead into a lot yeah, of damage. That was yeah, it was taking center stage. That was oof. Yeah, it was a very nice bait in order to get that explosion. He knows that what's up, dude. All right, he did catch the grenade, so he does have to disengage it. Short hop there, such a good snake tool. Mm -hmm. Let's see. He's what got the grenade. He's got the C4 stuck on him. Can he switch it? Yes, he can. Switches back. Yep, it's on snake now. Oh, he gets the roll. So it did swap out there, which is very good. Yeah, that was all one. bizarre. Does it stick to a specific spot on the body? No, it can be anywhere. Okay. Just as long as they touch somewhere. Yep. That doesn't work for, like, uh, items held, like a sword or a hammer, though, right? No, 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 no. It is good. specifically just remote mine. I, I, I regret the fact that you can't really do those, like, PMS uh, C4 setups anymore. I mean, you can kind of can, but it's, like, it's way harder. It's okay. Snake went from a cool character to a really to not a cool character. <laughs> Ooh, Snake's a beautiful cool. call out. Snake is absolutely No, I mean cool. in PM. His, oh. his life cycle was a really cool character into a really lame play style. Okay. Which is kind of the fate for a lot of platform fighters. But hey, right now, Fighters Ultimate's looking general. nice. Ultimate's looking good. Yeah. All right, let's so get back into this. got a long lifespan in front of it. Because Hyper taking a lot of momentum back. He's going to get that up, though. Salt One doesn't have that long of a lifespan left. He is just dominating. Ooh. Oh, the let's jump just barely too late. His speed, his agility, his Ooh, back air. Was that forward air? Yeah, I believe so. Sorry, look down for just a moment. And we're going to see that narrow on, on block, but it's not safe. Derek going to be adding up that damage onto Hyper Kirby. Hyper Kirby at 75, but has that full stock lead. So Salt One has to be very careful as the Nair does connect. And down to yeah, Snake's put him not going to kill situation. at 75 unless uh, like, something crazy happens. Mm-hmm. All right, mine is placed, so Hyper Kirby does have to be a little careful. Oh, he gets the air dodge to avoid that mine explosion. Missing that pretty crucial uh, chance at control of this match. Ooh. Jab forwarder. Salt one, forced to go high. Dropping a safety C4 when he's recovering, I just noticed. Mm -hmm. Like, that's so, like, Ooh, good ahead forwarder. thinking. Coming he off right it. there. Hyper taking it 3 0. What a clash. What good, good guys. Mm -hmm.